There are, of course, a lot of questions about how school will look this fall, but one thing is clear, things are definitely going to be different, and teachers will have a lot to think about to keep classrooms healthy and safe. Rachel Gutter is the president of the International Well Building Institute, a group that just unveiled a COVID-19 tra training program for teachers. Hi, Rachel. Hi there. Great to meet you. Tell us how this teacher training program will work and how it will help prepare teachers for this fall. Well, we've created a one hour self-guided online course that is backed by the CDC's guidelines on schools and all of the latest research and science. We really want to embolden our teachers to take all of the steps within their power to make classrooms healthier and safer and restore confidence as we enter back into our schools. Speaking of restoring confidence, do you have any tips for teachers who are concerned about their own personal safety? We sure do. Our free course is loaded with all of those tips um, about what you can do within the classroom and also um, what you can do going to and from school. Some of those strategies are going to be really familiar to teachers and to all of you. Uh, wearing masks, enforcing physical distancing, uh, or washing hands frequently. But we also include a lot of strategies that may be less familiar to teachers, uh, like encouraging them to open windows whenever that's possible to improve airflow, moving classrooms or breaks outside while the weather is still warm, um, or uh, taking making provisions in the classroom like marking floors to show te uh, students how to flow throughout the classroom and educational signage that really upholds those new protocols. Things are new for teachers as well as students. I'm wondering what you think is the best way to engage students in some of these new protocols. You know, I think it's really important that we start with the why. Our students need to have context. What we know for the school year is that the school is only as safe as the way we're interacting inside of it. And yet we also know that students are coming back to school with lots of different levels of education and awareness. And for that matter, having heard opinions that are gonna vary greatly from their teachers and from their, fam or from their family and their friends. So teachers can really help to establish that baseline, that level set um, that helps to explain what is a pathogen, how it spreads, and what are the steps that we can take to protect one another. Classroom space is going to be limited. What do you suggest for teachers and administrators to make the most of that space? There's lots of things that teachers can do. For instance, reorienting seats so that they're all facing in the same direction is a great strategy for limiting the risk of transmission. Um, we also know that a lot of it comes down to the way we behave inside of a space. So it's about teaching those behaviors to our students like um, coughing or sneezing into our elbow and frequently washing hands or using hand sanitizer if a sink, soap and water aren't available. Where can people go for more information on the teacher training program that you offer? You can access this course for free at teachers.iwbi.com. And because everybody knows a teacher, I'm hoping that if you're watching, you'll pass this along because I think that this is about the best hour that a teacher can spend in preparing for the return to school. Wonderful that it's free too. Rachel, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And again, for more information, here's the website for the teacher training program from the International Well Building Institute. Visit them at IWBI.com.